All right, today we're gonna do equilibriums, which is pretty much just, it's about how stuff changes equally, to put it kindly. Now the whole point of this is to make sure that you, the viewer, know what you're doing when you take your next chem test. Because I'm doing this because I like to help other people, and also because it helps me study for my chem tests. So today, so let's start out with classic water equation, right? So what equilibrium says is that the change, well not really the change, it's more the amount of H2O and 2H2O, well, sorry, the amount of H2 and O2 and H2O does not change. So you can have 50 grams, 70 grams, and it never changes. And how you get to equilibrium, we'll talk about in another video. This is more conceptual thinking. So one thing that's important to understand is, let's say that this equation does get to equilibrium. Right? Because it's <laughs> we're gonna, this is a video about equilibrium. So let's say this gets to equilibrium. And someone messes up, puts in some more H2. Well, now this can't be in equilibrium anymore. So what does this equation do to make it equilibrium again? Well, let's think about it like a scale. You've got your H2 and O2, and you have your H2O over here. You have your box and your box, and it's even. When you add some H2, that means that it goes down here. And that means this side goes up. So to make the H2O side heavier, more H2O is created to bring this side down and this side up because in order to create H2O, you have to use up some of this H2 and O2. And I'm sorry if you can't see it, I'm working on getting a better webcam. But believe me, this says H2 and O2. So pretty much what it means is that when you have your equation, whenever you add something, the equation shifts in the opposite direction because if one side goes down and the other side goes up, the other side has to change and the only way the other side can change is by going down. And when this side goes down, this side goes up and it's like nothing ever happened. And removing happens in the exact opposite way, but for the same reasons. Let's say someone messes up, excuse me, and scoops out some of the H2O. So now there's less here. Well, let's go back to our scale. This side goes down, this side goes up. H2 and O2. So when this side goes down because there's less H2O, and this side goes up, that means that some of this H2 and O2 will get turned into more water. So this side goes down, this side goes up. And it's in equilibrium again. The same happens with energy. Say you had your 40 kilojoules plus H2, 2H2 plus O2 turns into 2H2O. And let's say you added energy and then the equation goes to the right. If you remove it, then the equation goes to the left. And there's math on why, on how it works, but that's another video. This is just telling you, hey, this is what equilibriums are, and how you can mess around with it, and how an equation will respond to an equilibrium. So that's this, and eventually you'll learn about d stuff like delta G, KEQs, KSPs, both are the same, and Qs.